and welcome back. In today's video, we will talk about project dashboards using Microsoft Power BI. Microsoft Power BI is a powerful tool for analyzing and preparing project data and dashboards. For example, if you come here and click any of the cost categories in here, as you can see, all the charts on the dashboards will be updated. We have the cost by month, the cost by cost category, and besides that, we have a donut chart of the cost by month. So let's click the steel cost. As you can see, its distribution over the months will be shown in here. Besides that, its share in each of the months here will be shown as well. I'll double click here. If you click any of the months here, for example, let's select March from here. As you can see, the cost for each cost category will be shown in a dynamic way. In today's video, we will briefly discuss how to prepare such interactive dashboards using Microsoft Power BI. The first screen that will appear before you after opening the Microsoft Power BI is this screen. You can import data from different places, from Excel, from SQL Server, and if you have copied your data, you can paste it into a blank table. For today's video, we will import data from an Excel file. I'll click Import Data from Excel file, and from here, I'll select this file from my desktop and click Open. There are different tables and sheets in this file. The table that I'm looking after is table number one. The table will be shown in here. You can directly load the data into your Power BI, and maybe you can do some edits before taking it to Power BI. So for that purpose, you'll transform the data. This is the Power Query Editor. If you have worked with Power Query editors in Microsoft Excel, this is almost the same thing. The first thing in here is, as you can see in the cost category, the names of each cost category is given, and that's in the format of text. I have written down the month names here, so Power BI has recognized it as text as well. In next videos, when we intend to show this as a date, we will change this to date from here. But in this case, you will leave it to text. In here, the cost is shown in terms of numbers. In order to convert this to cost, we will click this, and from here, we will select the fixed decimal number, and we will add new steps. Our steps will be recorded on the applied steps in here. There are no further changes that I want to make to my data, so I'll come here and click Close and Apply. Now, my table is loaded under the fields. And we have the cost, cost category, and month. Next thing is to add the visuals to our dashboard. The first visual that I'm going to add is a line chart. I'll click the line chart. The visual will be added in here. What data do I want to show on this line chart? From here, I'll select the cost, and I will select the month. If you make it a bit bigger, the costs will be shown in here. To add another visual, I'll click outside of the chart, and from here, I'll pick, for example, clustered columns. For the clustered columns, I'll add the cost and cost category. Next thing is to add our donut chart. I'll click the donut chart in here. For the donut chart, I'll show the cost and the month. So my cost for each month will be shown in here. I want to further format any of the charts. For example, in this cost by cost category chart, I want to remove the vertical axis, add data labels, and change the color of the columns. To do that, click this chart, and from here, we will format our visual. We'll turn off the Y axis. Besides that, we'll come to data labels and turn it on. The data labels will be represented in here. To change the colors, I'll click the columns, and from here, I'll change the color to any color that I wanted. For example, let's pick this color. You can do the same for the others as well. Now, for example, if I click any specific month in here, the cost for this month for each cost category will be shown. Besides that, the cost will be shown on the line chart as well. In order to get out of it, double-click in the chart area so all the fields are selected. If I click any of the cost categories, for example, concrete in here, as you can see, the line chart will be updated and the concrete share of cost for each month will be shown on this donut chart as well. There are more about Power BI that we will be doing in our future videos, so stay tuned. 
If you found this video informative, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel for more useful content like this. Moreover, we post daily about project management on our LinkedIn and Instagram pages. If you are interested, consider visiting those pages as well. Thank you very much for watching.